Hi, this is Matt Weed, Spokane Eye Clinic. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about amblyopia. Amblyopia is one of the most common conditions that I see in my practice as a pediatric ophthalmologist. Amblyopia um, simply means decreased vision in childhood due to some other type of eye problem. It can happen because a child's eye is misaligned, whether it's crossed in or drifting out, or too high or too low compared to what it should be. It can happen due to an unrecognized need for glasses. Sometimes we'll see kids that uh, had blurry vision in one eye that they didn't realize because the other eye was compensating for it. And by the time that's been discovered, uh, the patient has developed decreased vision in, in their worst seeing eye, and that's called amblyopia. It can also happen because of something in the way, something impeding the vision. So uh, like a cataract in a patient's eye or a, an eyelid that's quite droopy can sometimes cause amblyopia. Those are the three main types, refractive, strabismus, or uh, deprivation amblyopia from the droopy eyelid or a cataract. The great thing about amblyopia is that even though it's common, affecting two to five percent of all children in the United States, it's treatable um, as a child. Up until about the age of eight or nine, our, our visual pathways that connect our eyes and our brains are developing uh, rapidly, and the younger a patient is, the more quickly they're developing. Because of that, um, that's the time frame during which amblyopia has to be recognized and treated. Um, after those ages, uh, it's very difficult to treat. The way that amblyopia is treated depends on the type that's causing it. Oftentimes, all that's needed, at least at the start of amblyopia treatment, is a pair of eyeglasses, which can be prescribed uh, by your pediatric ophthalmologist. However, if eyeglasses alone will not do the trick, then the next step is often patching of the patient's good eye um, to encourage them to just use the vision in their poor seeing eye. It's sort of like, and I often use this analogy with patients, if you have one really strong arm and one really weak arm, if you put your strong arm in a sling for a short time so that your weak arm gets all the exercise, uh, then it will become strong like, like your other arm. If patching doesn't work, uh, then sometimes we'll prescribe atropine dilating eye drops to put on a daily basis in the patient's good eye to blur their vision in that good eye to the point where their other eye becomes their, their preferred eye during the, during the treatment time. The goal of any treatment for amblyopia is to develop equal vision between the two eyes, and that's something that we check frequently here in the clinic. Now, in the future, there could be a role for some specialized uh, new treatments for amblyopia, things like uh, video games that kids could play uh, wearing special red-green glasses that will allow them to uh, blur their better seeing eye and preferentially use their, their eye that has amblyopia so that it can develop equal vision to the, to the better seeing eye. Those treatments are under active investigation uh, here at the Spokane Eye Clinic through the Pediatric Eye Disease Investigator Group Network and at multiple other sites in the United States, so stay tuned. Again, um, amblyopia is a very common childhood eye problem and if you have any questions about uh, your child's amblyopia, I'd be happy to, to talk to you about it next time you come see me in clinic. Thanks for watching.